Would you pay $5,000 for this Go High Level website? I spent 157 hours trying to build the best website on high level for agencies trying to sell AI or SaaS in 2026. I'm going to start by showing you what I built, why it converts, if it's even worth $5,000. And at the end, I'm going to show you this one mistake I see on a lot of GHO agency websites that's stopping them from booking more calls and signing agency clients. So you can see if you're making the same mistake on your website too. All right, so here is the site. And the first question that you might have is, what did I actually to spend 157 hours building. To summarize it, I built an eight page website. You see home, features, pricing, and so on. And this is a site for a GHO agency that wants to look expensive and be able to close more clients. So with that in mind, it had to be the best website that I had ever built before, but it had to be easy for an agency to make changes and deploy. For the third requirement, it had to be something that actually helped a business owner or an agency on high level sign more clients and make money. So let me show you how I actually went about achieving these three things right here. So when I first started building this website, I took inspiration from different SaaS companies such as HubSpot and then this website right here as well. You see the cool effect here as well, something that is nature inspired and was going to work well with the rest of the website. We have the social proof right here. I'm going to break down exactly why this website converts in just a sec. But after this, I noticed that some of these other websites had a graphic or some sort of element that incentivized the user to scroll. So as soon as I scroll, we then go into the next section with this nice gradient. And then we have this section right here, which was kind of like inspired by this section right here. So you see like graphics and cool layout for now, you see that this looks very clean, easy for somebody to digest as opposed to like some of these other websites that I've seen on high level. And when you do start scrolling, there's a bunch of animations, effects, things that were put there without any purpose. I wanted to make sure that whatever thing that I put on my website was actually serving a purpose. When I hover over these different elements, the card lifts, that is to guide the attention of the prospect into that specific section. Then you see this cool graphic right here. You want to make sure that you associate what you're doing with the dream outcome. This uh, background that you see right here, we actually made them ourselves. All of these are like the nature AI themes. So what an agency owner could do is be able to click a button right here and the entire website would change. They would be able to do the same thing for a different section with just one click, the entire feel and look of the website is going to change. Part of what took us a long time to do was these graphics. So we went to Photoshop, we had different iterations. So that is one thing that we had in mind when we were building this website. Let me show you how I went about fulfilling this third requirement right here, how it would actually help an agency make money and also why it converts. What a prospect is actually thinking on your side are these three questions right here. And I'm going to show you how as I was going through these questions, I went ahead and was very intentional with the design on the website. The first is, is this legit? So when we go to websites like HubSpot right here, the fact that they we have real humans, the site looks very clean, makes me think that this is a real company. If we go here, it's the same thing using real humans and all that stuff. So I knew that on my website, I wanted to incorporate some of that. So you see that this is real humans, real people. And if I click here, I can expand and see more of the testimonial. And you may be wondering how did I do so that when somebody clicks on this button, this appears, I added some code to have this button kind of like show when you when you hover over it, but the actual message, I did it with the pop up. So you see here, I have two pop ups pop up number one is the testimonial. And then the pop up number two would be for this one right here. The cool thing is for an agency using this going back to that second point, if they want to change this, they could add a photo of their actual client and then very easily be able to add it just like this, swap in here. And then the only other place that they would need to swap it would be here in the pop up settings as well. The second question that your prospect is going to have on your site, and I knew I had to kind of like solve for is have they done this before? Have they sold this to other people? And I made sure that I addressed that question in two different ways. I'd already been this hero section, but I didn't, I felt like it was missing something. So I went ahead and added this logo carousel right here. So then the first glance, when somebody first lands on this website, they see, okay, so this is what they do. They have some AI that transforms my business. And here is like other clients that they've helped. As you scroll down right here in this outcomes measure, it shows what businesses using our platform have done. So it's solving for that question again. Okay, this seems legit and it seems that they've done it for other people as well. So making sure that if an agency was using this, they would be able to have a section that shows what they've done for clients in the past. Of course, testimonials, it goes without saying, make sure that they look real, look legit. But the problem that they will still have or the third question will be, will this work for my business? Will it work for my specific case? 
So I wanted to show you again HubSpot's right here. They did something very cool, and in their case, it works amazingly for them. So if you know anything about HubSpot, they help from small businesses all the way to enterprise clients. What they could have done on the website is just show their biggest clients because they've had the most results. But if there was a small business owner on their website and they see that all of these testimonials are of big businesses, it would make it seem like maybe this platform or this service would just only work for big businesses and not for them. So that is how HubSpot in their case made sure that they had this section that says we help enterprise clients, we help mid-sized businesses, and we also help small businesses. Here I have a man and this looks more of like an artistic business, maybe like a studio or something like that. And then here I have more of a traditional service-based business, maybe an accountant, and it is a woman. This doesn't just go about demographics, but if you do help landscaping businesses, you help maybe small landscaping businesses, but also big franchises, make sure that you have sections for both of them so that it speaks to both ideal prospects. Let me refresh this right here. I want to show you something else that's very important. I changed the background here about the how you can convert people with even the structure on your website and how you can keep addressing those three questions. So on my hero, I knew I had to say exactly what I say very clearly, had to have some social proof and have a graphic that is engaging. After that, the first section that I had, which if you remember earlier, is the mistake that I see a lot of GHL agencies do, is that they don't include a problem section. And you might be wondering, okay, why do I need this? What I see most GHL websites do is that they jump straight into the features. Something better would be to jump into dream outcomes, but something even better, if you know anything about sales, is that you want to create that gap between their pain and their dream outcome. And how you do this is making them more aware of their problem. So they have the problem, they have the dream state, and then you'll position your solution as the bridge to help them cross from where they are to where they want to be. So in this section, I knew I had to build something that was very relevant, but would also encompass a wide variety of different businesses. So here you see the first problem that we have is, are you tired of juggling too many tools? So that's speaking to somebody that has a bunch of different softwares to try to run their business. Then we had this problem right here. Are your clients slipping through the cracks? So this speaks to a landscaper or any business really that maybe they does everything by paper and they don't have proper follow-up systems to work their leads. And then third, we have the struggling or declining sales. Also something huge is having graphics that confirm what I'm saying. For instance, here, if I'm talking about measurable outcomes, I make sure I have a dashboard and I have stats that confirm what I am talking here. That's something that I see a lot of GHA websites do wrong. They might have the greatest copywriting right here. Most of the time it isn't, but if they do have the copy, they just have a graphic that doesn't really connect at all. If you take a look at some of these other websites that I drew inspiration from, if they're talking about the fact that it connects with all of your different tools, they then show those tools right here. I did something similar in a different way. So here you see connects with the favorite tools and then I show how it links with all the tools that you already use in Stripe, PayPal, Facebook, and so on. After we present the problem, we then created more curiosity. So wouldn't it be cool if your business grew while you focused on other things? So creating that curiosity before boom, we present our solution. So meet the AI and here we don't talk about features or exactly how we do it. We just say it's going to bring you more profit, more bookings, more growth, and so on. The next question that somebody might have at this point is how does this actually work? And that's exactly the section that I did right after. So you see how even the flow was something that took me a long time, which is why I spent so many hours building this. The key is you want to make sure that you present something simple. If you present something that looks complicated with lots of steps and all that stuff is going to make it so that they seem like it's difficult for them to get the dream outcome. I wanted to build this section so that an agency that has a three-step process, a five-step process, it would be very easy for them to do this. So again, if you go back to high level right here, we just very easily duplicate this right here, change the copy with the effects already plugged in as well. For the bouquet demo very quickly, I'm going to show you how, let me connect a calendar here first very quickly. I'm going to show you how if somebody scrolls, the next thing that I have right away is a testimonial section. So even making sure that where I added these testimonial blocks, I want it to be in strategic place to confirm the action to make sure that, okay, this guy got such a positive result. Let me go ahead and book a call. After testimonials, I had this FAQ section. So if they still have questions, I make sure that I address every single question that they might have before they start a trial or book a call. So now that I show you what I built and why it converts, is this worth five thousand dollars let me show you the full preview of this website and then you can decide this for yourself
Is this website worth $5,000? Other AI and SaaS companies have paid over $20,000 for their website. So have to right here. Of course, their website is way more complex, but I'm sure they paid a lot more as well. This website, same thing right here. And it's the same thing for this website as well. These companies see their website as an investment that is going to help them get more clients and stand out. Number two is that I spent over four weeks building this and I have over three years of experience building websites on high level. So the right agency would happily invest this amount of money into a website of this caliber. Number three is that a successful agency sees their website not just as something that looks pretty, but as an actual sales asset. So something that is going to help them close more clients and get clients pre-sold before they even show on a demo call or start a trial. Maybe you would pay $5,000. Maybe you wouldn't. But here is the twist. You don't have to. I spent all that amount of time up front building this for DHO agencies so that I could deploy it as a template at just a fraction of the cost. So if you are an agency that wants to close more clients with your website, just click the first link in the description and transform your website in three clicks.